here is a step by step process on how to connect your delta account with mirrorpip in this video we are going to also cover how to create app on a delta to do that simply log in into your delta exchange to do that you can either use qr code using your mobile app or you can type in your email address and password i have delta app installed in my mobile phone so i've logged in using qr code now once i do that at the top right you will see my profile on my profile you will see api keys click on that and you will be redirected to this page on this page if your 2fa is not enabled it will give you a warning that your 2fa is not enabled and you will have to enable it if your 2fa is already enabled then this warning will not come in my case since it's a brand new account i have not enabled any 2fa key and i will do it right now to do that all i have to do is click on this setup button the moment i click on this setup button it will redirect me to this page on this page i i get the first option as 2fa and then i have to click on the button called setup the moment i click on the button setup it will redirect me to this page now before proceeding ahead on this page on your mobile app you must have either microsoft authenticator downloaded from your play store or app store if you're using an android phone you can use play store if you're using an iphone you can use app store these apps are available on on both the marketplace you can download either microsoft authenticator last pass authenticator or google authenticator now only once you download either of them you have to now click on next on next you will get this qr code which you are supposed to scan from your google authenticator or microsoft authenticator if there is a problem in scanning there is also a code this code can also be embedded or added manually in your microsoft authenticator or google authenticator in both the ways it will work now once this is done you will get a email otp and a 2fa code enter the otp that you receive on your email 2fa code is a six digit code that is generated inside your microsoft authenticator or google authenticator app you might also notice this six digit code is rapidly changing every 30 seconds so you have to quickly add the 2fa code before new code before this code expires and new code comes so always add email otp first once that is done you will quickly add 2fa code and then click on submit once you do that you will be logged out of all your active sessions you will be even logged out of your mobile phone where you have logged in into your delta you have to re-log in but this time you have to use authenticator you can see at the bottom left of the screen as well it's mentioned your two factor authentication is enabled let's try to log in again you will either add your email or password or you will re-log in into your mobile app and you will be redirected to enter dotp you just have to enter that six digit code again from your microsoft authenticator or google authenticator and you're good to go i have done this entire drill on my mobile app and hence i can now scan this code and simply log in into my delta account now once you log in you again have to go back to the same api keys page and this time you will see that the warning is no longer there that means your 2fa is enabled now let's create api key and secret that we want to add into mirrorpip i can keep api key name as anything but just for my reference and as an healthy practice i will name it as mirrorpip itself you will then be asked about white listed ip the white listed ip of mirrorpip is 154.61.77.165 you can copy this ip from mirrorpip tool as well please note when you're mentioning this ip make sure there are no additional spaces 
on the left side or on the right side of this number do not add any special characteristics or any extra dot or do not add wrong value this is the most important field if you do any mistake in this field the key or secret generated will not work then next ignore ips to whitelist field and then you have permission section where you have to select read data and trading as well by default only read data is selected and once you have selected both the fields click on create api key now once you cl click on create api key you will again have to mention email verification code and 2fa code the email verification code has to be added first because it will not vary however 2fa code keeps fluctuating every 30 seconds so we'll first add our email verification code then from our microsoft authenticator or google authenticator we will add 2fa code quickly before it changes and quickly hit that submit button now once it is done you will be redirected to the same page where now you have unique api key and secret please note never ever share this key and secret with anyone because anyone who has access to this key and secret can potentially place orders on your behalf which can cause financial losses make sure you copy the key and secret properly and keep it safely stored with you because once you exit out of this page you will never be able to see the api secret again now once you have copied this api key and secret come back to mirror pip and on mirror pip if you have signed up for the first time make sure you verify your email make sure you verify your mobile phone once that is done you will be redirected to connect to broker click on delta exchange and here you can paste the key and secret that you have copied if the key and secret copied by you are correct and if you properly paste them without any spaces you will see the delta account is connected and then you can click on start trading it will automatically fetch your balance in us dollars and when you click on dashboard it will automatically show you your pnl curve your estimated balance open position win rate and much more and that's it your delta integration with mirror pip is complete you are now ready to place orders via mirror pip watch list why are trading view automation or by following any mirror leader see you all in the next video